We rely on steel every day. It builds our schools, hospitals, and office towers. It helps us to safely get to where we need to be. In cars, across bridges, on our roads, rail, and in the sky. It's used in the stadiums that host sporting and entertainment events. It supports our primary industries and even helps us get a good night's sleep. While demand is expected to grow, steel production is also energy intensive and globally contributes to around 9% of annual carbon emissions. At InfraBuild, Australia's largest vertically integrated long steel manufacturer, we make steel that is more sustainable with lower embodied carbon by taking advantage of one of steel's unique properties. It's infinitely recyclable. Here's how. It starts with scrap metal recycling. Absolutely everything that you can see if it wasn't recycled would finish up in landfill. We've recently scrapped some trains, cars, bridges, washing machines. All that material is aggregated together and goes through our shredder where the process separates all the steel from the everything else. And then we take out the non-ferrous metals, the copper, brass and aluminium from the waste. We capture over 98% of recoverable metals in the recycling stream. Through InfraBuild's domestic network of recycling facilities across Australia, about 1.4 million tonnes of metals gets recycled. From our recycling operations, the process scrap then moves to our steel manufacturing area for use in our electric arc furnaces, or EAFs. So in the melt shop, we take scrap and we melt it down 92 tonne at a time into uh, liquid steel, where we add alloys, cast it into billet, which is then later on rolled. During the EAF charging process, EAFs can reach temperatures of up to 1800 degrees Celsius, which is hotter than a volcano. Ladles then move the liquid steel to the continuous caster to start the process of making steel billets. The billiard's basically the middleman, so we're receiving melt shop materials, so where they recycle steel, making the billets, which can be anywhere between 12.1 to 5.7 meters length. We feed the furnace, and inside the roll mill and the bar mill, they've got the furnace, which they reheat the, the billets before it goes into the pressing, compacting, stretching, and and making the materials. At the moment we're doing warm charges, so as soon as it's coming out of the melt shop, we take it away and it's being made into a material. Semi-finished billets are then sent to downstream plants for further manufacturing, while our finished goods are packaged and prepared for distribution to our customers within Australia and around the world. What makes me proud to work for the business is I'm part of a sustainable economy and have been all my life. 